Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 10. So yesterday we wrapped up our training on our contacts applet, and today we're going to dive into the next applet, which is tasks. Tasks is your third applet down. It's this sort of checklist icon, and we're going to go ahead and open up tasks and take a a basic look at what's inside this applet. And what I mean by that is we're gonna have multiple times throughout this challenge where we're gonna reference back to this applet. So that's gonna include during smart plans, during opportunities, when we go through the mobile app, there'll be several different times where we come back to this applet. Uh, but in generalities, to kind of start you off, if you've never been in tasks, at the top you're gonna to see three tabs. So it defaults to what you need to get done today. And you can see you have some built-in filters on this list so you can filter the list of tasks obviously we don't have any in this account yet but if you had a whole series of tasks you could filter those by any one of these five filters based upon the due date you can look at completed tasks that you have already knocked out or tasks that you decided not necessarily to do but you just archived in addition you can search by task name by clicking inside of this box and searching Maybe you're searching for a specific property address, a specific contact, a specific thing that needs to be done, whether that's photographer or staging or I don't know, when do I next need to pick up my dry cleaning, right? There's a variety of tasks that you could put in and then search by that task name. You can also search by a series of filters. So we talked about the due date filters that are kind of baked into this home screen, but they're also here inside our filter drawer. We can also set tasks based upon a priority level and then filter based upon that priority level. There are three main types of tasks. So there are call-based tasks, text-based tasks, and then other. So we could filter by any one of those three. You can link a task to a specific contact or a specific opportunity or choose not to link it at all. And you can see those three options. And then you can see that tasks are created one off by you as the user, but tasks can also be created through opportunity checklists and smart plans. So you can filter as to how did this task get created. And any one of those filters you select, you would click on apply. If you wanted to go back to default, you would just click reset and then apply filters. So what's it look like to actually create a task? We're going to come up to the top right hand corner as with all things in command but we want to create something new there's this teal button in the top right corner and so we're going to choose to create a new task now this task name might be to um, call sabrina check in on her cat maybe we knew sabrina's cat was sick and we want to just have a touch point uh, we were doing our quarterly calls she mentioned her cat was really sick so we're going to follow up with sabrina check in on her cat so we want to link that to an actual contact since it is uh, an actual call based task referencing one of our contacts. So we can come in and search for our fake fictional character here, Sabrina Spellman. We can attach that contact or link it to this specific task. This is a call based task. And it's important that you note, especially if it's a call based task, when we get to the command app on your phone, a call based task you can actually click on and it'll pop up the phone number ready for you to call. So don't skip this step if it's a call or text based task. Also, you can link more than one contact to a specific task if you needed to. A description right now, Sabrina said her cat was really sick when we talked today follow up in a week to check in and see how we can support her all right do we want to click a hyperlink there's no actual hyperlink here but you could choose to if you had one in this example i can't think of a hyperlink we might use uh, priority level, um, maybe this is medium, right? It's a strong touch point. It doesn't immediately need to be done, but uh, it certainly would be a nice touch. So we'll put it at medium. And we don't need that task to fire today. Let's follow up in a week or so. And you can choose to have an all day task, or if there's a specific time that this task needs to be fired, we can do that as well. Um, I'm going to uncheck all day. I do my legion between nine and noon. So I want this task to be in there no later than, let's say, 8 a.m. That way we make sure that it is available for me to see when I sit down at the desk or on my command app 
at 9 a.m. when I begin my lead generation. So we're gonna click on create. And now you're gonna see we've got a new task. So you can see in this column, it's the task name. This phone icon indicates that it's a call task. We can see that it's linked to one of our contacts and this is a hyperlink. So we could click on that, it would open a new tab and here is Sabrina's contact record. So we can reference any additional notes or any additional information. Who's Sabrina? How did she get in here? What's her story? What are her notes? Uh, coming back to tasks, you can see it was assigned to me. Uh, we'll talk about assignments when we get into uh, team training in command. You can actually assign it to other members of your team. And then of course, we've got the priority, the due date, etc. Now, when this task comes up, we can mark it as done by clicking on the checkbox, or we can choose to reschedule it we might want to add a note. We might, you know, unfortunately we found out on Facebook two days later that the cat passed, no need to call Sabrina, that, or we could call her and offer condolences. You can kind of decide how you want to do that, right? So there might be an option to archive it. Uh, we may want to edit it. Uh, cat's name is Fido. I don't know a good cat's name, but you could get that, right? You could edit the task and actually put the cat's name in there so it's a little more specific. So this is how you would work through your task. If you had multiples in here, you can also click each task using the boxes next to them or choose to highlight all of them. And you're gonna get some bulk actions down here at the bottom, including the ability to reschedule all of them. Maybe you're going on vacation for a week. You wanna reschedule every task you have due this week. You could do that. You could change the priority of a series of tasks, and you can also choose to archive a series of tasks. Important to note, you can't mark as complete a series of tasks because typically when you mark it as complete, it'll ask you if you wanna add any additional notes. So just something to be aware of there. That's it for today, guys. Day 10 of the 66 Day Challenge 8.0. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to switch gears. We're gonna dive into one of my favorite applets and that is Smart Plans. I'll look forward to seeing you then.